simple definitions. Let's, we are going to talk about branded marketing and sales. And then we are going to put focus on LinkedIn. Why? Because the creation stage of business is dedicated to professional and business. And the business tool for social selling for excellence is LinkedIn. Then there are many others. But if you want to be, if you want to connect with people in different areas, LinkedIn is amazing because you have to tell the truth if you want to be found. And LinkedIn is a way. Then I'm going to do a full disclosure of my, the, your presenter, myself, um, what, is going to, what is coming next, and a bonus track. As usual, we are going to have a bonus track and then a Q&A. So this is this package just in one hour. This is a, a small presentation. I am bilingual, as you, you already know, I have accent. <laughs> I've been, uh, as a senior management consultant, I've been working in, I have a variety of skills. I love to say that I have different business life, a different professional life. I was from information technology and every area of information technology to information security, um, social media, marketing operations, and I'm very well recognized as solution thinker. I don't, the people never, you don't need to wait for the problem to be a problem solver. You have to think in future, I'm a solution thinker. And I always have a good attitude in every, every aspect of my life. I am also an NLP practitioner with, if you don't know what is it, NLP is Neuro Linguistic Programmer. I am meditation trainer. A uh, leadership energy coach, a uh, certified executive and business coach, and train the trainer. Now, what about you guys? Put in your in the chat box where you are, your name, and where you are located. Go to the chat box. Okay, Mary, where you are? I like that. Cancun, Mexico. <laughs> what else? Salvatore for Maine. Okay. Who else? Come on, come on. You have three more cents. Take three more seconds. No? No more? Okay. Okay. Tim from Wellington. I, I like Wellington. Forest Springs. Come on, people, <laughs> wake up. <laughs> Great, perfect. Okay, so we are going to continue. The idea today, we this is why I always start my session with the con of learning. Confucius used to say, used to say I, see what I, I see and I forget. I hear and I remember. I do, I, I understand. And if you see the corner of learning that it was made in 1969 by Edgar Dale, the 10% of we read we are going to remember, the 20% of we hear, the 30% of we can we see, the 50% of we see and hear, the 70% of what we say, and the 90% is we say and do when we teach. Why they've been doing this for many years is because the best, the best way for me to remember what I learned is to teach. For that reason, I train the trainers, and for that reason, as a trained trainer, you're gonna also be very participate, but you're going to participate in my session. Let's start from social networking to social selling. Remember, we have been social animals from the beginning of the ages. If not, we are going to think. We were a, we were a, a one person, then we were a couple, then we were a tribe. So the way to connect was always exponential. We always try to thrive and conquer. And the only way that we do that usually is doing it um, in a group, okay? 
Today we have a lot of things to do because it's not just to have a person to talk, we have a person to talk and interact. That is the social media and the social media platform and everything. So we're going, let's go to the definitions now. Social networking. Social networking is the practice of expanding the number of business or social contacts making connections. This is very important. Social networking is about connections, okay? And the humans have been social creatures from the beginning of the age. First of all, creating tribes, then the gathering for excellence was maybe um, uh, churches, uh, the halls in the in the in, in towns, uh, mosques, places where the religion usually the special gathering was always religion place. And let me tell you why. Because if you want to, doesn't matter your religion, when you gather, there is always a leader, and the leader helps you to make connections in the community. That is very special. And then the first place that we do connection is the family. Usually was the big table, very European, very European, the big table with all the family there. That is the best, the first network that we have today. Let's go for social media. Social media is a computer mediated technology, okay, to facilitate the creation and creation and sharing information, ideas, career interests, and other forms of expression of virtual community and Social media are interacted as the web the web 2.0. Why? Because this the Internet born in the 90s. In the 90s, we used to use internet in a different way, just send an email, it was very corporate. We were using a lot of different tools. The, the technology in that moment, it wasn't that the technology that we have today. The 5G, we can transfer a huge files we can do. We can do today a lot of things with the, the technology. The 5G and the way that we transfer information through our phones, okay? But in, in the 90s, such a few countries had, um, had mobile communications. I was in one of those. I was living in the 90s, I was living in Argentina. And in 1993, I got my first uh, mobile phone, 1993. And it was amazing, but not in the United States. In the United States, started in the 2000s. But that was interesting, but we, we were able to send information between uh, a lot of people having uh, mobile communication. But internet was expensive in that. Today, internet is nothing, and you have a lot of things. The web 2.0 is YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Google, the browsers, the, the searchers. Uh, Findress, thousand, more than 52 social media outlets. What is social selling? That is the official definition, okay? Social selling is about leveraging your social network to find the right prospect, blah, 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 blah. You can have the presentation after this uh, presentation, you might have the, the PowerPoint. But what is the important thing to talk about social selling? Social selling is how to use the social networking, the social media to sell my products or service. Okay? And we are going to see what to do before to establish the sale. Social networks. The most common social networks today are Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Snapchat, Instagram, and Clubhouse, the new kid in the blog. Um, let's talk about each of them. Um, Facebook, it was one of the first, is born in 2006. The first was 2000, uh, 2003, LinkedIn. I remember that because it was better on LinkedIn in 2004 from Argentina. So Facebook was born later, but Facebook is, Facebook is most common because was promoted through 
um, different colleges, uh, from the colleges to the parents and the parents to everyone. And it's very interesting because today, depending on the social media target that you have, the age of the social media target, one tool is one social media outlet is better than that. Then we have Twitter. Twitter was just a, a way to move the information out there. Okay. Today we have different ways to be an in and out tool. LinkedIn, amazing tool. And because we are in the business arena, we are going to talk about. Um, I'm going to start my video to make this uh, for you more to read. Um, LinkedIn is amazing for us because it's uh, business and professional, and you are going to give you a hint about the different things that you could use. Pinterest, beautiful tool. When I need a recipe, go, I go to Pinterest and I'm going to find the best chef in the world. I'm sure he has a beautiful picture on how to cook an amazing plate. It's not chat good if you have a group to chat. Instagram, amazing. Many, well, they have some limitations, even though Facebook is the owner of uh, um, Instagram. Instagram is still keep their proprietary tools. Uh, if you want to do a live, you have to have a different phone, a phone to do it. You can do, you cannot do a live from the desk. This is an example. You have to do it from your phone. There are some limitations, but then the connection between Facebook, um, Facebook, uh, uh, Instagram, and WhatsApp, and the Messenger now, is the possibilities are Info. Then the new kid in the block is Clubhouse. Clubhouse is a social network based on bots. Okay. And you don't need to be, uh, to produce yourself, you, you need to have a very potent and you have to be able to create your groups and keep the group together to talk and continue the conversation. While in many other tools, the graphic content was the lead and the content creation was the lead. In Clubhouse, you have to lead a group of people by board, which is you have to have a really interesting ground rule to work with them. Now, get up and down. <laughs> Remember what I told you. What happened when you are a trained trainer? We learned last year, many years ago. We learned that we were do when we do trainings online, the people lose attention. And now that these days, many people had um, uh, Zoom overload, many trainings, many things uh, during the day. So if you are sitting in a, in a chair. Please stand up. And the best way to move our circulation is stand up and do this. Okay, clap your fingers. This is very important. Frank, I don't see in you doing this. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to ask you to dance. Okay. I can move my hands, but I'm in the library, so I don't want to break any rules. <laughs> So, I want security to come for me. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you to dance, but at least do this, okay? And you're going to feel how your blood is moving around your body. And if you have water, please drink water. I have my water with a piece of lemon. It's very important to keep yourself hydrated. Now I'm going to stop my... my video. I'm assuming that if you were in a chair or you were uh, in a coffee shop or somewhere, you did this. Let's talk about social selling, okay? Social selling. Where to sell using social media. The idea is for regular business, 
for people who want to create something special in products and services, but your target is age between 45 and over, Facebook is ideal. Why? Because it's very specific, the range of age in Facebook. The other thing is, Facebook is connected with WhatsApp. So if you have the um, phone from these people, you can make the connection through WhatsApp. If you have a um, shop, you can put your shop, your store online on Facebook and share the store online on Instagram. So it's very interesting what is going on there. This is a idea for people who I receive a lot of uh, information um, from people who had products. I also had a couple of clients that there are professionals like doctors or statisticians, and because they can show their pictures and they can have um, virtual sessions, this, these tools are, the tools from Facebook are really interesting. Twitter, whatever you, you want to tell to the world, Twitter is ideal as well, but that is a writing or an interview or something like that. It has to be very specific and very short. LinkedIn, no matter what you do, you are creating a brand and you have to market your brand about marketing your brand and expertise and your company. If you have it, but if you don't have a company and you're a professional, remember that you are your profession, Inc. or LLC. You are your company. So this we are going to talk about a little more and later on. Pinterest, Pinterest, idea for graphic content creators. Um, the chef. I follow a couple of chefs. Amazing, amazing what they are doing on Pinterest. There are a lot of things that you could do on Pinterest, but you create you have to create your board about your interest. Instagram, great for sales. You can share the the shop from Facebook. You can also create um, lives. You have the Instagram TV, which is awesome as well because if you have long content, more than 18 seconds, this go to H, um, to the Instagram TV. Clubhouse, the new kid in the blog, as I told you, it's a dear for group and you have to be a good leader. If you're a good leader and you have a welcoming voice and you have a strong voice and you don't want to be like produced as TV with uh, makeup and so forth, ideal is Clubhouse, okay? But remember, Clubhouse is for people who have a lot of time, okay? You have to be very careful and be very thorough with your ground group. There are many others, but when you want to do social selling, they're most, more important these days. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and Clubhouse. There are many more, but that is, of course, of course, of course, always remember to have your website, okay? Your website is your tree, and the branch of your trees are the social media outlets. Let's talk about social selling. Social selling has four pillars. You have to create a professional brand. You have to focus on the right prospects. Engage with insight and build trusted relationships. Remember, you don't buy to Amazon because it's Amazon. You buy to Amazon because they you trust on them. Okay? And we are going to talk about later on about trusting and confidence. And also Amazon has a brand. So we Amazon Bezos, his group, create a professional brand. They started focuses on the right prospects, the people who was buying buying books, and then these people who bought books, they maybe they want to buy something else. So and he was engaging the people with the different offers and the content of the offer. It was very interesting. They were creating insights. And then 
they build trusted trusted relationships, and this, which is very important when we do social selling. How do we define social selling? The old says more than was says 1.0. Call calls was the beginning. Call somebody and see if they buy. Then we, depending on your market or your business, we were doing sales demo, including the person who was knocking door by door, door, door to door. That person was doing sales demo, demos. Let's say the person was selling vacuums or encyclopedias. In, the, in many years ago, the encyclopedia was online. So the guy was, the guy or the lady was walking door to door with a couple of encyclopedias and he or she was showing the content of the encyclopedia. And then they were, at the end of the day, they were qualifying leads. That it was the sales 1.0. The new sales model is social network. We built the social network of our right client. Then when we have this, the social network, we educate the social group and with the education, we engage. And the product, we, the target of the social sale is when the three points are interacting, social network, education, and engagement. That is this new sales model today. It's very important to have in mind that we don't sell anymore as we used to. It's a different way. If you born, um, it started on the, after the 2000, as you are um, the new generation, you are no Gen Z, but you are um, Gen Y. You know what is going on. No, you are Gen Z. The Gen Z doesn't know the old, the old model. They understand that they live in the, in the mobile phone and they are doing in social interaction all the time. They are buying and selling online and they're educating but themselves online. Okay, and that is very important to have in mind depending on what is your target. Marketing versus branding in another word. When you have to express marketing. Marketing, this is in a simple word, okay? Marketing is, I am a great lover. Okay, I am a great lover. Branding. Uh, the person who I'm trying to sell, the person says, I understand that you are a great love. What is the same here? The sales point. The sales point is when both the person who is selling and the person who is trying to buy trust, then we close, close the sale. Okay? It's like Tinder. <laughs> or like the imagine the matching, the matching uh, love matching uh, tools. You market yourself and somebody understands that you are the one. Okay? In sales, it's the same. In jobs, it's the same. In business, it's the same. Let's talk about branding. Branding is about who you are and how you present yourself to the world. Okay? Your branding can include like your logo, website, price sheet, your values, your message, and how you draw the line in the sun. Marketing. Marketing is how you communicate your branding to the prospective customers and the world. It has to be easy to find. You have to Google your name, or that you Google your company, and you have to have a, an image name. And let me let me do this. In Google. Okay. Frank, can you see what I'm showing? I can I can still just see your PowerPoint screen. Okay, let me let me share. Let me share my screen. 
Okay, perfect. I can see what I'm sharing. Now it's the browser. Okay. When I put my name, Patricia Monica Heather, in the in the browser, they show where I'm usually showing. Okay. So this is my um, my LinkedIn. You can see my Instagram. You can see some articles. But this is very important. When somebody Google your name, because what I say Google, because it's Google is most more faithful than than the age for Microsoft, but both both um, tools are the same. If you put the name of the person, you have to see it. And also, what is very important, very important, especially if you are looking for a job, your face has to have a professional view. Okay. This hey, Patricia, can I ask you a quick question? Yes. Um, I've never seen something like someone's face right next to their. Uh... A result on Twitter like that when you when you put it on there, or I've never at least a lot, unless it's a celebrity or something. Is there anything specific you did as far as like um, SEO, like right there when you have your your picture next to your uh, because uh, for Twitter that you uh, Twitter usually shows the page on its own and okay. um, when you put images, usually the first image that's appear is the is about the tool that you most often use I, I usually use more LinkedIn so my first image is going to be that one. okay yeah I was just wondering if there's something you because because I have my image on Twitter and on LinkedIn but it doesn't show the search results like that it just shows text uh, so let me see is Frank could, yeah, you, put in there. could you spell your your Italian name always gets you p-e-n-n-e-t-t-i okay Frank is Peretti or Penetti? Penetti, two N's and two T's. N N E T T I. Okay, let me see. And uh, I know I have a result for LinkedIn and for Twitter, but it doesn't doesn't show that picture. So I'm just kind of curious if. And my showing also the picture that I have on um, Instagram. So you didn't do anything specific to basically make that picture appear in your Google search results. I was just curious if there's anything that you. No, no, it's usually depending on the tool that you use more often. Um, Cause I know mine doesn't show a picture in the Google search results. It just shows um, a LinkedIn. Um, just shows the text for my LinkedIn and the text for my uh, why is it right? This is not you. Yeah. Well, that's LinkedIn. But I'm saying if you Googled my name and you looked at the search results, you wouldn't see that picture. You wouldn't see that profile picture. You have more than 500, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks to you, I got about 4,000 there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting there. Okay. There you go. See, okay, you know, if you are, there's my Twitter result, but you don't see the picture next to my Twitter result. Maybe. No, but go to your Twitter, go to your Twitter and mm -hmm. look for a specific article that it has more views or more to retweet uh -huh. and click on that 10 times and see if in 72 hours later is your picture beside. I'll just click on the most popular tweet a bunch of times yes. and <laughs> yes. that's what I'm going to do it. Okay. Yes. I was just curious because like, like you can see there, mine doesn't show a picture next to my. Uh, no, but usually happen that you have to, but your pictures are everywhere. Look at that. Yeah, yeah they're, they're there, but I just, you know, I, I noticed yours was kind of cool because yours had it right next to your. Uh, <laughs> so you got me there. <laughs> so that is very important for you guys. If you want to be known. Is there are two things branding usually said is not who you know who knows you okay so you have good reviews that is going to show all the time marketing is show where you are and if you google your name or you google your company you have to be in the first 10. if you're in the first 10 your seo is good say Sales is the final step in the process, okay? This is very important because what differentiates a business from a hobby is that if you have a hobby, okay, it's an 
add them to your regular life. But if you have a business, you have to make money. Okay. And I have to be honest, I've been helping too many people for many years. And it was, and in a moment I stopped and I say I did an analysis. And, mm, I'm not making a lot of money, I'm helping too much. So I have to make some changes. But this is very important. You can market all day long, but if you don't have sales, you don't have a business. And I want you to be clear. I want you to be clear. One thing is do a business, and other thing is um, there. Another thing is to be self-employed. Okay. If you open a business just to sell your product or services, you are self-employed. If you open a business and you create a brand, and you create a company, and you have a team, it doesn't matter if it's a team of two or 1,000 or 100,000. If you have a team, you have a business because the, the worries or the attention are going to the other side, not just to have the money to pay my bills, you have to have the money, your company has to make the money to pay the people that help you in the sales and put your product or service alive, okay? So please be careful on that because usually the people say, I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna open my company, la, 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 but the company is a person dependent, okay? I have, I was diagnosed uh, cancer in April and my company is not a person dependent. My company is still alive and it's not just Patricia Monica Hale, okay? So that is very important. So let's do a little more happy dance. Clap your fingers, move your legs, move your arms and get some water. <laughs> I usually love this song, and I use this song. So it's very important to have a happy song, okay? So if you have time to pay attention to this song, you're gonna see that everyone can see a blue sky, okay? So let's continue because we have a few. Why to be social and have social media press? This is, I love this source of internet minute uh, infographic that the people from All Access and Lori Lewis does every year. Why? Because it's showing us what is going on in a minute in, in the internet. And we usually found things beyond that the tools and the users have been growing because the pandemic there are things that have been growing and changing uh, twitter was down last year because it was very compromised about the politics and the people not all the people of the politics so uh, twitter now it's getting up because it's moving in a little different, uh, different way. The thing that has been growing today is the membership site. Membership site. Why? Because let's say everyone, many people has Amazon, so the online sales has been growing. Many people and many of us, if you live in United States or many other countries, you have Netflix. You love to see the new things on Netflix. I'm sure that you have uh, WhatsApp and you have to maybe be online on WhatsApp almost all the time because we have broadcast lists. We can create groups. We can create many things on WhatsApp. Instagram has been growing, of course. Facebook, LinkedIn has been growing. LinkedIn was no very happy in 2020 because the people thought that it wasn't able to it wasn't possible to socialize virtually but when they when we stopped the, the people thinking that in that way and we move it that you can continue doing social networking using the tools that you have you have to change your mindset you have to stop having stop having um zoom overflows okay 
the people went back up again on LinkedIn and started to build social network in a different way. Today, you're going to see more people than usual on LinkedIn. And if you accept a, a contact, you're going to see that everyone is looking for to increase their network. Okay. Do I want you looking for, I connect with you because I want to increase my network? Of course. Of like Monday, man, minded connections. They all has, everyone has the same, the same speech. And I know every teacher on, on LinkedIn, I know from the, when they're coming from. <laughs> and there are a lot, also a lot of tools that people from LinkedIn doesn't like the tools, but cannot stop it. So you can do a, a um, automate, you can automate and do automation on LinkedIn as well. We used to do it on Facebook. We can do it today in LinkedIn as well. But this is very important. The business has changed and has grown. We had more people than usual using the tools. I discovered that I, my old uncle is on Facebook. He found me on Facebook. And now I had my uncle on Facebook and WhatsApp <laughs> and Instagram. It's unbelievable. And the all people, it's very interesting how they work and what are they looking for. So be be very thorough um, on what what kind is which one is your target. Okay. Let's talk about why it's important to uh, what are the important factors when you um, brand when we brand our site. We have to show a nice picture. A welcoming picture. We have to say what we do. Okay, how can I help you? How can I help the people? And where I come in from, where I, where I study, that is very important. But there are important factors when we create a brand, specifically on LinkedIn. What I do, how I do it, why it works, the results, and if you're ready to talk. To reply all these uh, questions, we have to create just 160 words, 160 characters at top, and you can write that in 160 characters. And when they, we talk, if you are ready to talk, it's giving the information how they can find me. Email, telephone, and website. Patricia, a quick question in the chat. Yes. Um, Salvador is asking, uh, why are the measuring ways different uh, from 2020 to 2021? I'll probably reference you in the last slide you had. Sorry, what could you repeat what, uh, what was the question? He was asking why, um, why are the methods different from 2020 to 2021? Probably referencing the last slide you showed where you had two different graphics from 2020 to 2021. They are different because what happened in a minute in 2020 was a lot of, let me look for the word, uncertainty. The people was driving, let me, okay. In 2020, in a minute on, on internet was a lot of uncertainty and specifically on from March, to September, okay? The same metric on 2021 from March to September is the people is certain now, okay? So you might see that there are numbers that in certain cases, certain cases are lower, but it's not like that. The people was, it's very specific. Now they know where to go. In 2020, with a lot of uncertainty, a lot of politics all over the world, a lot of people trying to change the, the nominated new order, and many restrictions, the people was uncertain. And the limitation of the way to connect create more, more uncertainty in the mindset of the people. Now, the people have more clarity and they are back to the specific tools in a different way. Please, I would let you know if I uh, answer your question. Okay. 
Okay. I guess I did. So we're going to close this session with the takeaways. The social selling is not just for business or just seeker. Okay. Social selling is my uncle, my uncle um, Angelito, that I wasn't seeing forever, and now is selling his art online. And of course, I have a new client. <laughs> Social media, the selection of the social media outlet is the key. If you want to sell product or service, or you, have, you are very specific, go to LinkedIn. You are not gonna get wrong there. If you have products and you have your audience are a specific age or range of age, go to uh, Facebook or go to Instagram or go to YouTube. If you create great content, YouTube is a, an amazing tool as well, okay? Don't forget that. Social networking, be social is a good thing. And I'm looking forward to see you, all of you on my network on LinkedIn. Send me the invitation to connect. This is the flow, full disclo disclosure of my bio, okay? I've been working forever in information technology. I have, I've been working in different companies like IBM, uh, Microsoft, Arthur Anderson, Pricewaterhouse, can audit in many companies in, in Latin America, North America, and Europe. Uh, I never had the opportunity to work in a company in China or in Singapore. Maybe it's my next step. I hold some degrees in information technology, operation. I have post degrees in strategic planning, international certifications. And as I told you, I hold certification as a Oh, okay, yes, uh, I have certifications as a um, different kind of coaching, and I'm a truly believer in the power of the social network. And I am very active and supportive of the community. Today, I am supporting, of course, the creation station business. Of course, I'm supporting a shelter that I love because it's a non peace shelter here in Fort Lauderdale. It's the uh, abandoned pet rescue. And I support in another organization, which is the school, and I, I love them. And we, I, if you are a follower of the school, you're going to see me in some of the webinars supporting the speaker. This is the way that you can connect with me. You can connect with me for female business coaching by the beach every two weekends. See the sunrise at the beach in Fort Lauderdale, and PMO Cafe is a meetup. Now is coffee with PMO because my name is Patricia Monica Heda, which is also Project Management Office. <laughs> so, it's a PMO. What is next? Consulting service and workshop, management consultant and business, and executive coach services, including brand creation, digital strategy, social media planning and management, program and project management. In the service include advising and consulting and execution. You have one-on-one -on -one sessions of packages, Every people who is a um, creation station business attendee has a 50% off. This is the email for us to ask for that information. PMO at pmobusiness.com. Evening talks. We are back on the creation station business with the talks, and we expect to have one at least once a month. We have to define if we are going to start at the end of October or the beginning of November with a special holiday season because. Every holiday season, the people is coming with questions. Where can I put my products to sell in um, um, the holiday season? Okay, so if you have a brand, you can do this. If you don't have a brand, you have to create a brand with advertising. So we did, we talk about that um, from five to six or five thirty to six then. And the coffee with PMO is coffee with me. It's a virtual and, and in person in different coffee shops. Uh, Broward, Boca Raton, and North Miami. We talk about methodologies, tool for business and life, business topic, marketing, business plan, strategies, and attitude and well-being. As I mentioned before, I was diagnosed by cancer um, for cancer on April, and I have an amazing doctor who discovered and make an a great and very successful surgery. But 15 days after. Dr. Jordan from the Broward Hospital says the cancer is back and now 
I have this beautiful hat because I'm going through the chemotherapy. My chemotherapy six chemotherapy six was yesterday, and I am very special case because everyone is usually having a bad day the day after, and I have the best day the day after, and that is attitude. Because of that, they did an interview. Um, they did an interview in the local channel because they couldn't understand what what happened with me. And I said, this attitude, this attitude, I expect always, expect always the best. And if you want to more information about where we where we are going to have the next um, coffee with PMO, just send me an email to info uh, at pmobusiness.com. Okay. Now the bonus track. If you have your phone handy and you have your LinkedIn app, open the LinkedIn app, click on the square that you have in your app, and you're going to see if you have authorized the camera, the LinkedIn to use your camera and your phone. And if you have everything ready, you can scan my QR code. Every profile on LinkedIn is have a QR code, which is very important because in that QR code is all your information. So if you do that, I'm going to see that you can send the invitation. You can send me the invitation, so we are going to be connected. The other cool thing in the LinkedIn app is when you are connected with a person, and they usually send a happy birthday or information that I would like to share with some specific people. Now, if I want to have a video call with my connection, I have this feature on top of the right hand side on the window of your connection, your communication in the messenger inside the, the application, the app. And then in the bottom on the right hand side, you have the mic and you can send a recorder message to your friend or your connection. Okay. So this is very important to have because sometimes we don't want to write and we can send, hey, I hope you are doing okay. If you have any question about my last such and such activity or the last the last um, newsletter, just let me know. I'm always open to hear you and your phone or the way to connect with you. Don't assume that because you are connected, the person knows your email and your phone. Just always refresh to the people your email and your phone. And remember, at least says four or three times your name. Okay. Hey, hey, Patricia, Patricia Monica Ojeda, la, 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 la. Um, Remember, you can connect with me, Patricia Monica Heda, that number and that email. Okay, this is very important. Is you have the tricks today to do. What gets measured gets attention. What gets attention grows. This is very important for the people from the library for myself. Please, in your chat box, put one if the session was no. The session that you were expecting, and five if you may be able to recommend the session. This is very important for us because we have been doing tweaks, uh, activities, and we have been doing a lot of things to improve our activities, my activities helping the community and the creation station business. If you can put just one or five, it's okay. Remember, we never, if this is happening on every survey, okay, we never see the middle. We usually say the one or the, the maximum level. If the middle is an average, nobody wants to go average. We want to go higher. Okay. So just do that. You have some time. Perfect. Now, QA. Before the QA, remember links and contact information. Patricia Monitojeda. PMO at PMO Business. My phone number is 786-217-2951. 786-217-2951. Yes, I have WhatsApp. You can connect with me on WhatsApp. 
Yes, you can connect with me on LinkedIn, of course, I show you how. Yes, you can follow me on Twitter. Usually post, uh, I usually post on LinkedIn and then replicate immediately on Twitter. And yes, you can follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is p pm underscore ojeda, Twitter pm underscore ojeda. So, any question? Wow, I was so clear. I like that. <laughs> I timed that really well, Patricia. Usually I start running all over the place and <laughs> I didn't even have to give you a time warning or anything like that. That was great. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. I really appreciate you guys. And if you want to see a little bit of my journey, I'm going to um, journey of being positive with the uh, with this guy, uh, Mr. C, which is Mr. Cancer, and uh, I'm trying to take over the power. And uh, I'm gonna show you the link so where you can see the interview that the hospital, the Broward Hospital and my doctor, and um, the, an amazing person from PR from the hospital uh, achieved to make me an interview. Um, I'm gonna put the link for you guys. Okay, it's on Twitter, but just in case. I'm gonna put it here to everyone. Yeah. This is the link for the interview that they did on the Brower Hospital. And if you want to talk about if you want to see more, talk about more information about how I'm making this with the help of friends and priors all over the world, and my te the use of my techniques that I learned for many years, and the use of the positive thinking, and the good attitude just join, join me in one of my uh, coffee with PMO. So, any questions? Any comment, just you have my email, you have the occasion station business email, and hope to see you soon. Um, I want to thank you all guys all for coming. Um, by now you probably have tons of contact information between myself and Patricia. So feel free to just shoot an email or uh, a social media connect request, any of those um <laughs> any of those links you saw. Uh, wherever you saw them in the presentation, and we'll get back to you one way or another. Um, um, there's another survey monkey link that I've been passing around the chat. Feel free to use that. And also, we do the, the library also puts out a newsletter of all of our events, uh, including Patricia's, of course. Um, uh, I had my uh, Creation Station business email link in the chat. So if you want to get on the email list for our, um, our events newsletter, uh, feel free to just uh, drop me an email at creationstationbusiness at broward.org and um, just ask to be on the uh, email newsletter. Ooh, mood lighting. Very cool, Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, got my, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, I only have this big orange, uh, what do you call it, behind me. <laughs> this cockpit of the uh, co-working space here. Um, so I'll have to live with that. But, um, but thank you guys for coming. And um, again, any questions, just shoot it or one of us any kind of an email or social media contact. Um, any way you want to do it, just get in touch with us. Thank you guys for coming again. And, um, and um, hopefully this is recorded well. So if you want the recording, also just get in touch with us and just ask for the recording link. If hopefully there'll be a recording link available for you. Thank you all for coming. And uh, thanks again to you, Patricia. And, uh, yeah. Congratulations on your recovery and keep going strong and um, see you again soon. Bye guys. Thank you. Bye.